Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cracking Packs. This is from the same collection that we did from the previous video, only this time. Uh, again, like I said, I don't know what's in these packs. Um, the first pack was all uncommons. This might be all commons. I don't know. Like I said, the seller um, said that these, these repacks are something that him and his friends put together a long time ago. And no one bought them because, you know, older sets cycling out. No one wants to buy older cards kind of thing. And so he just left them on the wayside. I mean, look, there you go. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, a, an 11 right there. Okay, so this one is Chantra's on, uh, Outrage. Deals 4 damage, target creature 2 damage to creature's controller. Okay. Okay, these are, looks like they're commons. Uh, Bold Vidian Horde. Act of Treason. Trumpet Blast. This is from the 25th anniversary. Okay. Uncaged Fury. Mano War. Mystic Hidden Way. Phantasmal Bear. Retraction Helix. Shoreline Ranger. Sift. Okay. Totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not a Monsters Inc. reference, I don't know what isn't. Uh, Skirk Commando, Firehound. Oh, I like that card. Firehound. I might find a full picture of that one. What's this one? Skeleton Eyes. Primal Clay. Interesting. Prosthetic Prism. Artifact. Oh, an Assembly Worker. Enters a battlefield, you may search your library for an assembly worker creature card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay, so it's a 4-4 fetch for 5. Okay. Wow, that's a big mouthful. 4-4 four, four fetch for 5. Collinia Guide. Choking Tethers. Tap target creature. Uh, tap up to 4 target creatures. Okay, for, for 4. Not too bad, so 1 attack. Courier Hazard. I remember him from another previous set. Dragonized Servant, Fandom Seer, Ghost Ship, okay, 2-4, Spirit, with pay 3 for Regenerate, Horseshoe Crab, pay 1 blue to untap Horseshoe Crab, okay, here we go, Returning Felix, Blood Hunter Bat, Disfigure, Erg Riders, Beginning of your end step. If Erg Riders didn't attack this turn, Erg Riders does two damage to you unless you it comes under your control this turn. Oh, okay. Horror of the Broken Land. Whenever you cycle a, or discard another card, Horror of the Broken Lands gets plus two, plus one to the end of the turn. Okay, so he's a, a pumper. Murder. Uh, this is a different print of it. So I've got two murders in my collection now. Nice. Flaxian Ghoul Zombie. A 2 2 for 3 with Sacrifice a Creature. And it gets plus 2, plus 2 to the end of the turn. Okay, so he's a pump, zombie pumper. Supernatural Stamina. I remember this came out in a previous set as well. Twisted Abomination came out in a previous step as well. In fact, that is from. Oh god, that's from Legions. Twisted Abomination. That came out in Legions, and, and it was on the Arena card as well. Ah, another Assembly Worker. Target Assembly Worker creature gets plus one, plus one to the end of the turn. Okay, so we did get... So these were these appeared to be more commons versus the uncommons. And that was actually pretty quick. So what I'll do is I'll open up another pack. So you get two for this first video, and only one in the previous. All right, so I'm being, I'm being nice. I'm being nice for you. All right. I'm being nice. I must say, the guy has gone out of his way to to make sure that your cards get to you. So uh, what I'll do is in the video description is I will link his business. And if you're looking for, you know, magic lottery card, you know, uh, you know what I mean, guys. If, you, if you're looking for, to add cards to your collection, even if it's for an older set, you know, reach out to him. You might have something you're looking for. Right, these look, appear to be commons. Uh, Iron Blessing. Relevant Raveners. 
Omen of the Forge. Ooh. Okay. Origin of the Blade Mountain Blaze. Satyr's Caning. Warp in Flames. Oh, I like that one. Warp in Flames. Aha, here we go. Here's the lands. Here's the lands. Here is the lands. Okay, so we got Unknown Shores. Tap to add one colorless mana or one mana. Tap, add one mana of any color. Okay, that's a common. So I'll, I'll count that as a... Okay, so here we go. Greens. I'm not really into the greens. If you guys want me to stop and just check, look at the greens. Unless there's like Lanoir Elves, uh, Elver, you know, Eldamari, things of that nature. Which I really doubt eldamari has been reprinted. Uh, Elvish Aberration, he's still been re reprinted. He's originally from from old school Urzas and Legion. Okay, these look like these are old M M11 and M13. Yeah, see, these are old. This is like the anniversary sets of cards. So basically, these are older sets from the original cores that have just been re-released for the 25th anniversary. Okay. All right, so Auromancer, Dauntless Cathar, Fencing Ace, Geist of the Moors, yeah, from 15th edition, yep. Yeah. Okay, Knight of the Skyward Eye. Okay, Loyal Sentry. Wow. Some of these cards I've not seen in forever. There you go. No Noble Templar. Ah, Pacifism. That's old school, yeah. Old school. Renounce Faith. Sorry, Renewed Faith. Sorry. And here we go. Here's the other one. So yeah, it looks like we, we got a big thing of uncommons and the rest of it might be commons i don't think i've seen a rare or a mythic yet um i'm not sure if the ad said anything about rares or mythics let me double check in this set mix 10 years cards will mainly commons with at least 100 cards of uncommons rarity or higher so unless there's 100 cards here which i highly doubt to Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. No, there's only forty here. So there might there might be a big thing of uncommons in here too. So, but so far we do have a bunch of commons. And that's not that's that's fine. You're going to get commons, and this is the thing. Most most decks I've ever played with and had fun with and, and messed around with were commons based. Um, so good, so good if you want to do like a poor man's, you know, like a pauper's thing, where you know you're not allowed to have any rares or, or uncommons. So again, I'm trying not to cut too deep because I don't want to cut the cards themselves. I know there's some people watching me do this and they're cringing. They're like, oh my god, what are you doing? I'm like, this isn't, this isn't, an, this is not an alphas, <laughs> you know, this isn't an alpha or a beta box set. So, <laughs> relax. Oh, we got a foily. Ooh, foily, foilage. We got some foilage. Some foilage. Static net foily. Ooh. Oh, here's a, here's a rare, here's a rare. Titan's Nest. Death's Oasis. Oh, Warrant and Warden. Nice. Gruel Spellbreaker. Judas, Scourge of Dinva. Ooh, she looks kind of nice. Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Whenever you're a non tick creature token dies, Judas the Devourer deals one damage to target creature. Turn your target. Okay, cool. Chandler Innate. Feed and Mouth. There we go. Bounty of the Might. Tanjari Paragon. Growth Chamber Guardian. Heaven and Earth. Oracle's Vault. Okay. Unpredictable Cyclone. Volcanic Salvo. Rick's Mad Reveler. Ashuk Erasure. Okay. 
the battlefield exile target spell your opponent cannot cast spells with the same name as the exiled card as you raise your leaves about a full return okay dragon lord negative okay quorum chronola inscription of insight Berenthic biomancer fateful handoff here we go okay zareth sounds a trickler i'm gonna do it probably got to do it properly uh sky cave shade oh it's a nice shade carrot kravik the spiteful other creatures get neg one neg one okay so he's good against weenies nice Haunted Nightmare. Oh. A 4 5 for 3. Menace. Battlefield. Target opponent puts Death Touch counter on creature they control. Okay, so you want to get him out early. Okay. Idle on the obstruction. So these are all. This is a great big thing of rares, I think. Yeah, here's the rare land now. Okay. The Johnny Last Stand. No Planeswalkers, though, because they're all mythics. Herald of the Sun. Okay, okay, this is the uncommons now. Yeah, we've got a bunch of uncommons. That was nice. I'm on a bit of a uh, I'm on a pile of uh, rares. I'm gonna put the foily separate on its own. So rares are gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. So that's interesting. So we've got a bunch of uncommons, a nice little stash of rares. That was that was a good little find. Thank you there. That that I think is a redeeming quality for this 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 pack. Right. So we're at the twelve minute mark. Right. So we've already unlocked a few packs. So we've got we've got some content. So that's all that matters. We've got some content. We've got some content. So that's all I, I care about is I want to get some content out for you guys. Right. So we've got some comp. We've got some more commons here. All right, so we got battlefield promotion. There we go. So I, I'm gonna I try and keep the lands separately to myself. And if I see something that pops out to me, ooh, present might. Oh, thought they were gone. Shock, nice, nice. That shocks back. Um, and so if there's anything that stands out to me, I'll I'll bring it up to you, whether it be the artwork or if it's just a general good card. Um. Hmm. Discord. Oh, Discord Piper. Nice. Zombie satire that makes goat tokens. Very nice. Okay, minus grass, yada yada yada. I think nothing. Ooh, underworld charger. Again, I've always liked the underworld charger art. That's a good card. It's a nice card. Okay, the rest are all just blue blur. Ooh, aspect of lamiancy. Now, if, ooh, if you've got that that weird phobia about s s holes and stuff on people, that card is not going to be your best friend. Ooh, ooh, gives me the gives me the eebie-jeebies right so we do have a couple of i wouldn't say they're common lands because they're not but they're a common card so what i mean by that is they are a, a land card but they're not a standard planes card they're not a standard um swamp or or, or, or things of that nature all right so one of these has to be uncommons because there's no way or unless they're counting the rares with that 
in which case fair dudes but I don't think I've come across any mythics yet and I don't think I will let's be honest with you I don't I genuinely don't think I will um so links to the seller on eBay will be in the video description okay so these are just commons Okay. You'd think with it being commons from a whole bunch of different sets, there'd be one or two really good commons like Lanawa Elves, um or even a priest of Titania. You know. Yes, I'm I am looking for some elves. Um because I want to get my old elf deck up and running again. Hero of the Pride. He's a good card. And like I like the artwork on that one. Hero of the Pride. I do like the artwork on that one. Dreadful Empathy. Boop. Traveler's Amulet. Okay. Brain, yeah. Alright. Eldolon Philosophy. Sip of Hemlock. Yeah. Yeah, Sip of Hemlock always costs too much in my, my, in, my in, in all honesty. Just cost way too much. Way, 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 way too much. All right. So, got two packs left. Again, I'm trying to be careful in how I open them. Here we go. This one's face down. It's going to be a bit of a surprise for both me and you. You and me. Got a lot of cleaning up to do. Commons. All right. Uh, Arena Trickster. Feral Flame. Hero of the Games. This is Bounty. Time to feed. Oh, Traveler's Amulet. A uh, different art of, a, of tra Traveler's Amulet, but still. Sacrifice it. Search your land for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand and shuffle. So if your mana screwed, that's one way of trying to get your mana out. But on all honesty... But there's no point in having um, certain mana seeking stuff. Okay, satire hedonist, sack it to get red ammo, red ammo, red ammo, red mana. Okay, regenerate Aspiel Wanderer as a skeleton. Baleful Eidolon. So okay, that's actually not a bad card. I like the art on that one. The art on that is fairly nice. Okay, Blue Madribus, Covenant Lampard, Enchantment Creature, Nymph. Okay, and his Intimidate. Aha! There we go. Here here we go. The Dual Lands. Yeah, I've already got tons of these already. Uh, the Dual Lands. So I won't count those. So I remember when people used to go nuts for those Dual Lands. Basically, when they come into play, you gain life. You gain one life. Um, they they do come they do come into play tap, but the fact that you gain a life, um, and they do also tap for dual mana, meant that uh, they had a lot of versatility in certain decks. All right, this one appears to be on on a more. Updated set. Jesus. This thing's like almost impossible. I really am trying to open these packs without damaging the cards because, you know, they're the prize inside. You know what I mean? Like, jeez. Come on, man. Like, this one's especially wrapped. Like, what the heck? Okay, these are the uncommons. There we go. Right, these are the uncommons, so we've got Brian Vale. Creatures opponent control get neg two, neg two, neg the turn. Uh land tapped at okay, so it's a land. Okay. Come to play tapped. And it has an instant cast speed at the same time. Okay, cool. Sure fire infantry. Uh again, I'm not really looking for blues right this moment. I do plan on making a Nimvazette um arcana's deck 
Most people are like, what the fuck? Yeah. Nymphs at Narcanos, yes. Devoted corpse man. Ship glider. Now, I know that they were in um, the, the Ajani set. Outrider, Sword of Thief. Enigma Drake. Harvest Hand. Belt oh, Transform and Control. When dies with... Okay, so basically it's, you can just keep swinging it out. It just keeps returning back to your hand. Okay, cool. Hmm. Artifact Equipment. This crypt creature can be a human and it has menace. Okay. Scourge Scythe, okay. There you go. More more door more door lands, but these are the uncommon ones. These ones don't come in tapped and you don't gain the life. I think that should have been swapped. You know? But what do I know, right? I've only been playing magic for almost twenty fucking years. Okay. Orkstar Marauder. Sorry, trial of knowledge. Then run emissary. Yeah, there's a lot more blues uncommons wise in this than anything else. So we did walk away with quite a collection of cards. We even got a foily. A foily. Woot woot. A foily. A foily uncommon, but still a foily nonetheless. No mythics. Um, but we did walk away with it with some nice rares as well. So thank you to the uh store owner. Again, we've got some nice cards that we can use to bulk out our collection. There we go. We've got the... You know? We've got some nice dual, dual land cards. We've got some nice cards like this one right here. The Krovac, the Spiteful. I know I can use him in, in a few decks. Um, so, yeah. that we, we, we For what I paid, and I paid £15... Uh, with free shipping for 300 cards did i get my 300 pounds worth my 300 pounds my, my 15 pounds worth yes absolutely absolutely i did i absolutely did why 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 would i not think otherwise of course i did absolutely i did um oh wait we're missing a card. oh eep, we had a card attached to it there we go uh, so yes we i i genuinely think i did uh, make a good haul. Like, here is my rares, here is the uncommons, and there is the commons. Um, and even if you do bulk them up and put them side by side, yeah, you do get end up getting a little bit more commons than you do uncommons and rares, but the point is, that's magic for you. That is magic for you. Uh, yeah, so the seller is uh, Eddie Bailey 76 he does have a store. I'll put a link to his store uh, in the video description. Um, he's got a lot of... Uh, he's got like 6.3 thousand items that he's sold. And they're all five star. Um, so, like I said, the guy is honest. And I will be buying some more cards from him uh, later on. Uh, so, yeah. Until then, guys. Enjoy the video. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. Uh, if you're new around here, hit the like button. And uh, I guess, uh, guys, I am working on getting a decent overhead camera and a camera pointing at my at my boat race. Uh, but all the webcams I've got are all either 720 or not high def or anything like that. I mean, this is my Logitech C920, and it's still, as you can see, giving me autofocus problems. But the point is, guys, I am trying to make the uh, content better for you. New microphone as well. Uh, anyway, till then, guys. Keep your shots flying. Keep your enemies dying. And I'll see you guys in the next one.